Alrighty, my man. So here's just a short video uh, to teach you how to make these hats, okay? Um, so I mean, I in terms of the modeling, it's uh, all Blender work and being able to weld the two together in, in Blender. Uh, but in this case, as soon as you have your model, I'll go ahead and teach you how to how to do this aspect of it. So I'll actually get rid of this entirely, just to take you step by step on how to do this, okay? So first you go to your model that you imported and you go to, uh, then you go into, well, first thing that you need, we'll take a look at the scripts first. All right. So one thing that you didn't have was declaring the server storage. So in order to reference something inside of a server storage, which is this panel right here, you need to what's called call it. So I need to say, Hey, the server, uh, server. Uh, I need you, I need this server storage. Okay, that's basically what it's saying, game get service. All right, so now we can use the server storage. Local hat equals game dot server storage dot hat. Well, I, we don't have anything inside of there, so watch what happens. All right, so I'm gonna play the game and I'm gonna view the output and it's gonna say, uh, the hat cannot be found inside of server storage. All right, so here, I'll show it to you real quick. Output, then ready. Oh, maybe it already did. Yeah, see, hat is not a valid member of server storage. There it is right there. Okay. And so now what we're going to do is that we're going to go ahead and make it visible, which it, my thing might crash right now. Oh, we're good. All right. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to go to server storage. We're going to go ahead and insert object. Then we're going to go ahead and insert a uh, an accessory. All right. And then we're just going to rename it to what we named it inside of the script, which is hat. I think it was with a capital H. Yes, it's case sensitive. All right, so now we're going to go back into the model that we had, E2. And basically what we're going to do is that we're going to copy uh, face and head. Copy. Now we're going to go down into the hat. Paste. And one thing we got to do is that we just got to, I just want to ungroup everything. And we can also get rid of hat giver because we're not going to be giving hats on the actual hat. Oh, get rid of you, please. I would like to get rid of you. No, I want to get rid of you. There we go. Okay. So now that we have it here, let me go back to the script here. Okay. Which the script is basically saying, all right, so if script dot parent is touched, so if the hat giver part, which is right here is touched, then I want you to run this function. All right. And so now I declare the local player. Okay. So local player equals game dot players, get player from character hit dot parent. So the difference between a player and a character is that a character includes all of your clothing, all of your accessories, and all that good stuff. All right, that's from the character, whereas a player is kind of like your name, uh, your and your data. So like how old your account is and all that good stuff. Okay, that's kind of like your data appearance, while character is your physical appearance. Okay, so if the player is, exists, all right. So if the player exists, then you do this script. If if not, um, so if hit dot parent find first child hat. So basically, this is saying if whoever touched it, which is hit dot parent, hit dot parent is whoever touched this button. And if they don't have what's called a hat in their find first child, then we're going to make a clone of the hat and its parent is going to be you. Okay, so this is basically putting the hat inside of your character, all right? So we're going to go ahead and play it real quick just to show you. And let me just make sure everything goes through, which looks like it will. I made sure to be bald for this. All right, and bada bing, bada boom, but oh no, I am stuck in the ground. All right, so what we're going to do is that the reason that we're getting stuck in the ground is that we're cloning the hat, but it's currently anchored in the same position. So what we have to do is that we have to go into union handle head and middle and make sure that they're all unanchored. So now when we go on into play, now we're able to move around wherever we want with the hat. And the hat is attached to us because that's what accessories do. All right, so we're gonna go go ahead on in here. Da -da -da -da, hat. Oh no, but look, the private thing is down there. Why is it not going? Why, Why is it not on the hat? Well, the truth be told about the hat is that um, nothing is what's called welded, 
What a weld is, is that it connects two different bricks together. It kind of forms one, similar to a union. All right, and quite honestly, we don't even need these two. We don't need head or, head or handle. At least I don't think. Yeah, we don't need head or handle. All right, so now we're left with union and handle. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to go into our plugins, and this is what's called motor creator. Okay, and what we're going to do is that we're going to go ahead and do create welds. All right, so we're going to select part zero, which is going to be our handle. This is going to be like our main part, and our main part is always going to be handle. So done. And now we're going to select the parts that we want to weld to that middle part. And in this case, it's this union. And so if you see inside a handle, the weld is there. So now, when we go on in, when we go on into the game, Da, 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 da. As soon as it loads, we're going to go on over here, bop, and it's attached. And that is how you do these hats.